Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, welcome to my channel. And today uh, I'm going to follow along with um, Rachel Bella Crafts um, day three of her 100 day challenge, which is to make a movable, flexible, changeable uh, belly band. Um, but it's, I'm just going to do a slightly different because, um, well, you know, I like to do things differently sometimes. So I'm going to keep this here as a reference, so I know, uh, I have watched the video a couple of times, um, but um, by no means do I know what I'm doing. But anyway, <clears throat> this is what I've got. So here's my take on the envelope topper. And I've only got one section in here that's not got anything on it, which is this lovely one with the bird. So I'm quite pleased that um, Rachel's come up with this idea for the uh, flexible uh, belly band because it means I can still take advantage of this beautiful image which I ooh, I love. Okay <clears throat> so that's where my belly band's gonna go and just pop that back in there. I've got scrap bit of paper uh, I believe this is from the Bohemian Rhapsody kit for Rich and Bella. I had my uh, packaging paper out today, so I thought I'll use that as the uh, belly band. I just need to glue it. And for the bottom... Um, oh, I don't know what you'd call that, really. Um, clasp? You know, where, where the uh, belly band goes into. What I thought I'd use is one of these which is from Rachel's kit now I'm just trying to think is this from Shades of Spring hmm I can't remember no I think this is Winter Whispers this one but it's just a little pocket oh I've got two here <clears throat> um, that you cut up so I thought I'd Give that a go to pop the belly band in. So basically, that just need will just need to fit in there like that. Obviously, need to cut quite a bit of this off. And I think I I, I need <coughs> I need it to go pretty much in there. Um. So that strip of paper is going to go there like that. Okay. And then instead of the lace uh, pocket, I'm going to do a very simple pocket with vellum. Okay. I'm not going to attach it yet because I'm still a bit unsure whether I want to use that or not. So let's sort this out first. Um, so we need it about here um so it's gonna go to there and that's there like that so i'll just just cut this This is straight. Okay, I'm just going to glue these down. Rachel used cardstock. Um, I just had some of this on my desk, so I thought I'd use it up. Hands up, who hasn't got any? Gin paper from Amazon. Nobody in the world, I'm sure. Okay. It's quite thin, but I'm a bit worried about bulking out the the topper, so I'm gonna leave it thin. And then I've inked around here. I'll put that up like that. So I just need to mark where that needs to go. Okay. 
glue this on and I'm going to sew around this as well so I won't glue anything <coughs> down in the topper just yet so that's my that's my belly band now I remember Rachel she did score this so my scoring board out very often <clears throat> I don't generally I don't really use it for cutting either too lazy to get it out and I think she went I don't know maybe an inch I'll go like that. Oh, I think I'm, yeah, I better put a strip on the other side, didn't I? Yes. What have I got you? Oh, not long enough. Hmm. What have I got you? Okay, let's have a look. That will do the trick. My sleep. Oh, I love using up scraps. Can't wait for Rachel's video today. Eagerly waiting. No pressure, Rachel. Get on with it. Want to see what I'm doing tomorrow? Uh, so I just need to have that. There. Be easy if I had scissors, but oh, I don't know. Not sure where they are either at the moment. <clears throat> My craft room, or craft space, I should say, is chaotic. Perhaps is a good way to express how it is. My family have named our spare room, it was the art attack room but now it's called the heart attack room because it's so bad and <clears throat> it is something I really do need to tackle but unfortunately at the moment I can't go lifting anything heavy after having an operation so I can only really do surface tidying up and, and I have, I've, I've been good, I have looked at some of my um, unfinished projects which we've all got and sorted them out and labelled up boxes and stored them tidy <coughs> so um, I'm slowly working my way through it but not enough to post any progress on uh, Rachel's Junk Journal tra Trading uh, Facebook group event. There's some wonderful stories of craft space um, refits and sorting out and people providing um, their wisdom on how to sort out your craft supplies. I've got a lot to learn in that respect. Okay. Let's have a look. I did think I could put a little notch out of there. I might actually cover that notch. Hmm. Who knows? Now, I have said in, in another tutorial that I'm really not being mindful about <coughs> um no, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not being mindful about the matching things because I'm just using scraps. So I'm just enjoying the process, uh, learning how to make something new 
following Rachel and supporting her channel and I'm just having fun with with all the scraps that I've collected okay so the next thing I need to do I think is make the envelope mm -hmm. that's it I'm going to do something really really simple I don't know if this is going to work actually um, but here we go so I need to measure how big I want the envelope so I want it I, I do want it quite big I think that looks about right So this is going to be a really, really simple envelope. Nothing flashy. Forgive me if this doesn't work, okay? I was thinking about this in the early hours and I couldn't sleep. And I think in the middle of the night, you think, oh, that's a wonderful idea. Yes, I'm going to do it. Hmm. Okay. Right, I really do need to find my scissors. Hmm. This pair will have to do. Just going to do a simple little... What I was thinking of doing was, so I'm going to sew around the envelope and what I was thinking of doing was putting a little slash there so it can move up and down. Let's give that a go. have to be three little squares wide so I'm just using my scoring board so oops, it goes in like that back out the other side Fold it up and then you can move it up and down. What do you reckon on that? I reckon that'll work. Okay, let's put it to the test. Uh -huh. And that will go in there like that. You can move it up and down. Pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. Me thinks it's going to work. Okay. So, um, what to put in it? Now, I may have sequins. Really don't know if I've got sequins. I've never used them. I got some pretty beads and things like this type of thing. But I've got to consider the bulk. Um, because this is right in the middle of the um, topper. Um, I've got some pretty buttons here. And ooh, I've got some of these things. But I'm really worried about them falling out everywhere. But I could use some of these buttons because they're really pretty. I don't know if you can see those in there, actually. And I got these, which I really like. So I'm going to pull some of them out because they're really nice. And um, ooh, I like this one. That's a nice one. But what I was thinking of doing was making my own from my scraps. 
and I was thinking, uh, taking inspiration from Shona, from Fraps and Scraps, you do a little eyelet there as well. Been really, really brave today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, check me out. Um, okay, so um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out some scraps, um, and I'll speed the video up because uh, you're going to find it really boring, me just punching and gluing. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make some buttons and see you on the other side. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. So uh, I gave up trying to punch the little ones. Uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, but I think they're nice. And what I wouldn't mind doing is sort of mass making a load of these. Maybe put in some, I don't know, some glitter. Oh, what do you call it? Nouveau stuff. Make them all nice and glittery. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this and not putting loads of buttons in there, because I really don't want to bulk up the, uh, the envelopes. <coughs> Excuse me, um, but this is uh, this is something definitely that you want to um, sit down and uh, what I would call sofa doodling, uh, where you're mass making and not thinking about anything else. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, so what I need to do now is think about a closure here and I'll need a button there. Mm-hmm. Now I'm really not good with my crocodile. Mm. Me and the crocodile don't get on. Well that's putting it mildly. Okay. Shona, please don't look. Right. So I'm going to put a standard size one in here because that's the only one I know how to do. Should have practiced this beforehand, shouldn't I? And let's get my eyelets. Ooh. I have a little stash of eyelets here. Colour ones here somewhere. As long as I want. Oh, and I also I think I'll also grab Brad. And I'll use that to attach. These are going to go flying everywhere now. Um, I'll use that to attach a button on the envelope. Right, okay. Thought this through a bit more, I think. Let's move out of the way. And let's go for this minty green, I think. Okie dokie. Oh, crocodiles make me nervous. They make me nervous. I don't know how many journals I've had to fix, not getting the settings right. And yeah, of course I've lost, I've lost the settings instructions. So I'm going to have to ask Shona to send them to me. But anyway, 
Yeah, that looks okay. I can live with that. I can live with it, definitely. Um, right. So if I then... Do I want to use a button? No. Yes. And what I was thinking of doing was... I just put a little bit of string... Hmm, will that work? Let's give it a go. So... We need it quite low, really. About there. Hmm, that's the problem. Here we come, crocodile. Is that going to be too big? For the brad. Hmm. Right. Pokey tool. Use my all. Come on. These aren't quite really dry, but I've got time to waste. Brad, so that it doesn't get caught. Maybe putting your fingers in the. Uh... Envelope. So you do have to think about the closures and everything before you sew or glue, really. What I'm thinking now is just to have a little bit of string. Oh. I mean, I have got red here somewhere, but it's not where it's supposed to be. So I think I'll just use this for now. May change it up later. Might actually use some wax thread even because that'll probably be thinner anyway this was to hand that's probably a little bit too wide but you get my drift yeah oh yeah I'm gonna have to change it no I got some white wax thread there oh within reach. That's a boy. Let's use that. Why didn't I think of that before? That's easier. No, it's obviously not 100% robust, but you, you know, it's for decorative purposes, really. Excuse my arm there. All right, we're getting somewhere. So, um, I need to sew around this to make it secure. I need to... Then for the belly band and sew around there, and maybe there, maybe not, just sew the edges there. And I need to distress this a little bit. And maybe sew around with that as well before I stick it down. 
and then we can put all the goodies in and then we'll be done right see you in a little bit okay so i've sewn her on there and around my belly band you can see i haven't changed my needle yet oh, looking pretty desperate sewn around there Oh, big reveal, is this going to work? Never made one of these before. So I guess I'm going to need a good globule of glue here. Yeah? So I'm going to oh, use this fabric tack, which I just loathe with a passion. If I leave the bottle upside down, it leaks out. It stinks the whole house out. goes everywhere. So I'm just going to pop that under there. And I think I'll pop a bulldog clip on it. It's a bit overkill, but that's the one I reached for. Okay, and then... What do you reckon? on the wrong one. I'm just going to sew that one. Oh, red goes with the red. So... Let's glue the flaps down. And these little pockets are so handy in the kits. Definitely think this is the Winter Whispers kit, Rachel and Bella. Okay. Ew, got glue everywhere. Yeah. Now, I need to make some clusters, so I might cover that up a bit later, maybe. Let's see what I can get my hands on. I should be stuck down. So, there's my flexible, movable transitional belly band courtesy of Rachel and Bella Crafts love it this is so much fun um and um what I what I will do maybe off camera a bit later is I might put some buttons um on the side here like that just as decoration um I could maybe put a little bit of thread in there and tie it into a bow but for now I think I'm just gonna play I'll put my little goodies in my pocket and hope that I can still close this topper. Yeah. I love vellum. It's just so versatile. Yeah, I definitely need a bit of decoration there. But uh, there we go, fellow crafters. That's my take on Rachel and Bella's 100 Days of Rab Challenge, day three. I will put some links in the description box. Um, and please check out Rachel's videos every day and uh, follow and like and subscribe to her channel and support her um, as she's really um, just taken on a massive new challenge uh, in her life and uh, yet yeah, we all want to get behind her 100% so um, hope you enjoy this little video and catch you soon bye bye